Hey guys, welcome back to Legal Marketing Live. Excited to have you here with us. My name is Daniel Decker. Ben Sarver is joining us again today, so we're glad to have you guys on board. Before we dive into the episode today, Ben, I want to tell everybody, remind everybody about the referral raffle, which we are running right now. We're running it through um, August 31st, which is a week from today. So you've got one more week to get your entries in. And remember, if you know a lawyer who could use our services, whether or not they're immediately ready to make a purchase, but just that they're looking around for internet marketing help, they want to have a conversation, send them our way and you will get an entry into the referral raffle. And our grand prize is pretty awesome. It's going to be your choice of, of three prizes, each worth approximately $2,000. What are we giving away again, Ben? Yeah, I mean, there there's some incredible options. You can get a uh, Gucci handbag or yep. equivalent, um, again, up to a value of $2,000, a Callaway Golf Club set, um, and the final option, I think, is a MacBook Pro. Yeah, brand new MacBook yeah. Pro. So your pick, I guarantee you, if you can't use one of those, I promise you, you know somebody in your life that can. So yep. this is a great prize. And again, it's a win-win scenario for you because we're just going to have a conversation with anybody that you send our way. We're going to educate them. It's a very low-pressure process. We're, we're just going to educate them, and, and we're going to make you look good because we're going to take great care of them. So if you guys know anybody that could use our services, click on the link that we're dropping in the comments and send them our way and earn your chance to, uh, to win a great prize. And we're going to do the drawing most likely on Facebook Live, and we'll do it um, next Friday, which is September 1st. So that should be a lot of fun. Absolutely. So. All right, so let's jump into the topic today, Ben, which is social media and specifically what not to do on social media. And this is, a, this is an interesting topic, right? Because there are, everybody knows they need social media at this point, right? right. Like there's no debating whether social media is, is like here to stay or anything. Yeah. The question is how do you use it and what does it even mean and, and what should your strategy be? Because there's a million opinions out there. There's a million different ways to do it. Right. Most of them, frankly, don't get the results that you want. So, so today we're going to jump into what not to do. And Ben and I have identified four or five kind of particularly common things that we've seen people do Errors, wrong. Yeah, mishaps. And so we're going to jump into that. So, so the first one is don't operate without a plan. Right. So, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you you really you want to go into your social media marketing with with a strategy, with a purpose. Yep. Um, you know, they, like we said, there's a lot of different strategies out there. There's a lot of different schools of thought about how yep. to approach it. Um, if you just start posting, it's going to be all over the place. Yep. You know, you're you're not going to be you know, focused on achieving an objective. There's, there's just so many yep. things that, you know, yep. are going to get confused and not, yep. not really achieve anything. It's like, it's like anything in life where if you don't define your objectives, you're, you're kind of flying blind right. and, and then you don't have anything to measure success against. Right. So if someone asks you, is your social media strategy working? Can you even answer that question? <laughs> what is your social yeah. media and strategy? If you don't, yeah. if you don't have, if you don't have your objectives defined, you're not, you can't answer that question. So there's kind of a lot of different ways to go about it, right? There are um, a lot of people turn to social media as a source of new business. Uh, a lot of people try to use social media as just a way to build their brand and get their name out there. People use it uh, as a way to generate referrals. Mm -hmm. So, and I think our recommendation is that it's going to be best used as a way to generate referrals. Right. Okay. And to stay top of mind with your network. It's not so much the type of thing. Ben, maybe you've seen this where people go out and kind of use their Facebook page as just like a straight sales pitch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's not going to be the type of thing where you're just bringing in boatloads of leads. You know, it, it, it's really, you know, uh, another element of it too is the the credibility aspect. But you know, it, it's something where you're going to stay in touch with the people that you already know, yep. keep that top of mind awareness, yep. and then for those who you don't already have top of mind awareness with or who aren't already aware of your brand. Um, it, it's a form of credibility in yep. in the sense of a presence. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's, it's, um, if someone tries to look you up on social media or look at your Facebook page and there's nothing there, yep. you know that's that's going to be harmful to your yep. credibility as well. So yeah, I, I agree. I think you said top of mind awareness. Yes. You said credibility. <clears throat> I think those are two fantastic objectives for a social media strategy. But the key point we're making right now is whatever that strategy is, define it. Right. Know how you're measuring success, and and then hold yourself accountable to to those goals. So if your goal is to increase referrals over the next 90 days, set that goal and then 90 days later or, or even better, 45 days in, check in and, and see if you're doing it. But whatever whatever it is, set your goal, define it, put it on paper and now you have something to measure against. Yeah, and, and don't fall for the misconception that just being on social media in the first place is enough. Right. Yeah, that, that I think is the key thing, yep. the key takeaway there. You know, just yep. posting and just throwing anything out there on social media isn't enough. You yep. gotta have a focus, you gotta have a purpose. Absolutely. 
Okay, so second thing, I see this a lot, and probably a lot of you guys can identify with this because you're busy people, which is you kind of go on a, on a flurry, right, where you're like really excited about social media, and so you're, you're posting on Facebook like a bunch for like a week or a couple days, but then you get busy, you lose enthusiasm, and all of a sudden like it drops off and nobody hears from you for the next like five to six weeks. Yeah. You yeah. see that ever? A absolutely, all the time, and it's, it's so easy to fall into that trap. Um, but consistency on social media is such an important element of it. Right. Um, you really have to maintain that presence in, in order for it to achieve your object objectives. You know, yeah. if, if you're just posting, you know, if you go on and post 10 times in a week and then you don't post again for another three months, right. you know, it's going to be really blatantly obvious to anyone that goes to your page that you're, you're not keeping up with it. It's going right. to, again, we go back to credibility. It's going to harm the credibility of your, you know, your social media presence. Yeah. yeah, it makes people question how seriously you take this, exactly. how disciplined you are. Um, and, and also, at the same time, um, you just can't build a consistent following right. when, you're, when you're approaching it that way, right? Like, right. if you're giving people good information, they're going to they're gonna be excited about that and they're going to look for it. Mm -hmm. But then if you drop off the map for, for six weeks, yeah. They, they're going to forget all about you, and and it, it's counterintuitive to the to the goal of top of mind awareness. That's exactly right? what I was just yeah. going to say. You know, we we just outlined top of mind awareness as being one of the focuses and one of the most important you know ways you can approach social media. Um, if you're not can, keeping up with the consistent posts, there's no top of mind awareness. You have top of mind awareness just for the time period that you're posting, and then it drops off yeah. again. So. Yeah. So we suggest that you guys post at least once a day across um, the major social media channels, which we would define as Facebook. Right. Twitter, LinkedIn, both your personal profile and a LinkedIn business page, and then Google Plus. And, and minimum of several times a week, but at, we recommend at least once a day. If you want to do more than once a day, great. But it's just important to have that consistency to build the top of mind awareness that you're talking about. So, Definitely agree. So yeah. don't fall into that trap where you get excited about it, you're serious about it for a week or a couple of days, and then you fall off the wagon because it's, it's not going to help you if you're not consistent. Sure. All right. Um, what's the next one here? So... Okay, this is a fun one, especially in today's day and age. Um, don't get off message, yeah. right? Don't get distracted by <laughs> politics, by pop culture. There is an exception to that, which we'll talk about in a minute. But, um, but what are your thoughts there, man? Do you, do you, do you, are you as frustrated as I am by like hopping on Facebook you know, at the end of the day and just seeing like a, just a war zone, basically? Absolutely, yeah. It, it's, you know, I think anyone who, who spends any time on social media, social media nowadays uh, will, will quickly, you know, be the first to tell you it's it's just full of a lot of nonsense there's a lot of a, a lot of opinions a lot of white noise a lot of stuff just floating around out there um, distractions um, and it, it kind of goes back to our first point you know you got to have a strategy and you got to yep. stay on message yep. and um, you know when you start posting things that are completely outside of your business that are outside of what you're trying to achieve just because it's something that you know you're interested in or um, you know whether that's political, whether that's you know anything else. You're you're getting off message. You're going to confuse the the focus and the purpose of your social yep, media. Yep. The key to building a, a strong brand is consistency, and that means you've got to stick to your core focus. Now I mentioned there are exceptions, and um, I think both in the world of kind of politics and more on the entertainment side, there are exceptions, and that's if your target market, who you've identified and, and really thought through do identify with a certain side of, of a culture war thing, whether it's, you know, immigration or, or whatever. I think immigration is a good example. Sure. You know, I think generally we would we would suggest that like attorneys shouldn't pick sides when it comes to politics. Right. If you're an immigration attorney and the majority of your potential clients are out there are, are freaking out about the current administration, right. you know what? Maybe that actually is a chance for you to take a strong political stance and kind of endear yourself to your target market, knowing that you're gonna be turning other people off but it's worth it because the people you're turning off probably aren't your clients to begin with. Right, yeah, it comes down to your target market, yeah, yeah. it comes down to your audience. Um, you gotta have a good idea of who your audience is and if your audience spans a broad spectrum of, of beliefs and opinions and thoughts, then you really wanna kinda stay in the middle, you yep. wanna stay neutral, yep. so you're not gonna be cutting out a chunk of your audience exactly. and a chunk of your potential business. Yep. But if you do have an audience that, that very overwhelmingly leans in a certain direction on on various things whether it's politics or entertainment or things like that then I, I think that definitely opens the door for you to take a little bit stronger stance to um, you know put yourself out there in yep. a way that it's gonna your audience is gonna agree yep. with I couldn't have said it better I would say just 
just be sure to really think that through, yeah. right? It's a, it's kind of a minefield. It's definitely, it's definitely something that you want to think through because once you get yourself out there in kind of the, the political flame wars, it can get hot quickly. Yeah, so. neutral is definitely the safest yep. place. Yep. Um, you know, you're, you're definitely taking a bigger risk by taking a stance one way or another. Yep. So um, always. And we've seen that. We, ha we had a client that uh, represents um, primarily women in divorce, and she took a side in, in the state that she was in. The, the uh, legislature was, was debating whether or not to pass a law that was going was gonna, to, I don't remember the details, but it was going to, it was, it was disadvantageous disadvantageous towards towards the women in divorce primarily right. and so she kind of stepped out in opposition to that and did it knowingly and it did create a huge firestorm right. um, but again because her clients are women it, it was huge credibility with with that so Absolutely. it's definitely a, a strategy you need to think through but it can be effective sure so but broader overall thing here is is do stay on message stay true to your brand um, and and continue to deliver content that is in line with what your target market is looking for. Definitely. So, all right, cool. Next one. Don't make it all about you. <laughs> what are your thoughts there? Sure. You know, we we kind of perceive social media, whether it's Facebook or Twitter, as as being you know this venue to put yourself out there, and it it being you know kind of a personal message board and kind of a personal place to you know post pictures from your vacation and things like that. And that's the social element of social media, right? But when you're using it for business purposes, right. it, it's really important to to you know stay more focused on on your business message. Yep. Um, it, it's it's good to self promote for sure um, as well. You know you 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 do want to get that personal. Uh, feel in there you want to you know help people understand who you are and that type yep. of thing but um, you know you don't want to focus it only on that yeah. you don't you, you really got to mix it up and provide some value exactly. in the types of posts that you're putting exactly. out there and I think the key is balance yeah. I think as yeah. you said I think the key is balance I think if you want to kind of slip in some personal stuff about what you and your family are up to as long as that's kind of consistent with your brand I think that's fine but it probably shouldn't be a, a significant portion of what you're posting. Right. The probably the biggest mistake I see in this area is just the self promotion period. Like like in the sense of trying to directly like drive business. It's like right. considering divorce. Call you know call me and and that's fine if you want to mix that in. In fact, we suggest that you mix sure. that type of thing in. But if that is all you're posting on Facebook or LinkedIn or whatever is just those like overt calls to, to sales, yeah, 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 people are gonna people are going to ignore you. And it doesn't matter. That this is kind of an interesting thing in the last couple of years. It doesn't matter how many people like your page in terms of like that matters from a credibility standpoint. But that doesn't matter in terms of how many people are actually going to see your post. Just because somebody has liked your page mm -hmm. does not mean they're going to see everything you post. Sure. So you got to post content that people actually care about and are are interested in. So that's where. Like I think you mentioned earlier, you got to mix in like the tips, some blog entries, some some news articles, some value to get people paying attention. Sure, right? yeah. If they, you know, if people find that all of your posts are the same, if they're just, you know, posts about you personally and what you're up to, or if it's just posts that are just sales calls to action, you know, to to try to get people to call you for specific things, practice areas, things like that, they're not going to really have much incentive to come back. So when you you know actually pepper in some practical value, some yep. things that are going to be of interest to your audience, whether it's third party you know articles, news articles, things like that, yep. um, they're going to have a lot more incentive to to come back and to keep yep. checking back and to follow you and to you know be be checking on your social media. And then that does give you the ability to slip in those more promotional right. calls to action because now you've got some credibility and people are paying attention and they're a little bit more interested in what you have to say and in what you do. So I just think it's all about the balance. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so last thing we want to touch on here is, is a big one, which is don't spend too much of your own time on this. Yeah. Now, it might sound a little bit self-serving, but I'm not saying you have to hire us, but I am saying as an attorney who can bill $200, $300, $400 an hour, you probably shouldn't be spending much of your time managing your own social media presence. Sure. To do it right requires time, it requires a lot of thought, and and quite frankly, it's just not going to be the best use of your time. Would you rather would you rather be seeing a client and and billing them at your hourly rate, or would you rather spend that hour on on social media? So whether it's whether it's hiring an outside firm, whether it's hiring us, just de or delegating it to someone on your team, mm -hmm. like it's not it's not a task and a job that should occupy a huge amount of your time as an attorney. Yeah, you know, you when you when you kind of look at it from that perspective of okay, yes, yeah, social media is very important, but as an attorney, there are so many more important things you could be doing with your time 
and still getting the social media done. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? It, it's it's a, it's an essential element to your marketing portfolio, but it it's something you know that you personally can be spending your time in, in a lot more effective ways, and it's something that that someone else can be doing yep. for you. That that you know, or even again, you know, if you're doing it yourself, it's something that you don't have to be spending all of your time yeah, on. Yeah, it, 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 there, yep. there's just better ways to do. It. Yep, I think that's the key. Is um whether it's delegating to someone on your team or, sure. or hiring a professional or, or whatever, just don't let it consume you to the point where you're spending all of your time doing something that, that just does not provide as much of a return mm -hmm. as, as your hourly rate could if you were just you know billing clients for that yeah. time. So just don't spend too much time on it of your own time. Um, all right, I think that is it here. If you guys want some more information on this, we're gonna drop a link in the comments. I believe it's to a blog entry that we wrote a, a little while back, which just provides some more information on social media, what to do, what not to do. Hopefully it's some helpful information. Anything else you wanna add here, Ben? No, that's pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. So I guess to sum it up, social media is a represents kind of a huge opportunity mm -hmm. for you guys. It's a great way to build top of mind awareness. It's a great way to create credibility, to drive referrals, but it's also very easy to get led astray. So, and I will one one last point on that. I will say it's, you know, more even more so than it being an opportunity. I think social media as a marketing tool has become ubiquitous. It's it's become essential. You, you know, yeah. if you don't have a social media yeah. presence, that's a glaring issue yeah. in, in today's day and age. So, yeah, I think that's a great point. If somebody if somebody looks you up on Facebook or LinkedIn and you're not there, that's that's a pretty huge negative. I, I couldn't agree more with that. So, so hope this is helpful. Take advantage. Um, check out the links that we're dropping in the comments for some more information. Um, thank you guys for joining us, and we will see you next time.